So before I get started, um, I'm going to make a copy of the folder. I already did that. And then um, for step five, it asks us to open the category list.php file, and I have it right open here. So you can see it, it already has quite a bit of um, the scaffolding put in. And, um, and you know, just go ahead and take a look at the code. You'll see that it, um, that it has quite a bit in it already. And then um, the next step, in step six, we want to um, add a couple of functions to uh, delete a category and add a category. Now, before you do this, it's probably a good idea to um, just take a look at your database for a second and um, notice that this database, um, I mean this table, it only has um, one field name in addition to the category ID. Um, the category ID is the primary key and remember that this is an auto number so that you don't need to insert it. Um, so really all the main thing that we're concerned with is the category name um, and, um, and that's when we're inserting something. So anyway, going back to Dreamweaver if we um, if we look at our delete category function, um, you know we can give it any I am any variable name here. Um, this is the table name, so that has to be exactly how it's spelled in the in the um, database table. And um, this is the field name from the database, so that has to be exactly as it is in the database as well. So we're deleting based on the category ID, um, which will get sent in to this function. So for the add category function, um, all we really need is a category name, and um, and we don't, you know, the ID is going to be automatically um, assigned by the database because it's an auto increment. And so again, um, categories is the name of the table. Um, category name is the name of the field in the database. And then this is the value that we're putting in. And um, we're getting that sent into the function.